station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground. I'm Shaniqua Marine, and it's another busy week aboard the International Space Station, a spacewalk and innovative science. On Wednesday, June 16th, ESA astronaut Tomas Pesquet and NASA astronaut Shane Kimbrough went out of the Quest airlock for a seven hour, 15 minute spacewalk. The two astronauts successfully removed the first of the new IRISA solar arrays from its flight support equipment and installed it on its mounting bracket at the 2B power channel on the station's P6 truss structure. Before the new array can be deployed and begin providing power to the orbiting laboratory, spacewalkers will need to install the electrical cables and drive the final two bolts to enable the solar array to unfurl into its fully deployed position on a future spacewalk. For updates on the next spacewalk, follow us on the HC's website and the NASA app. Back inside, the crew kept busy with science, including the deployment of several CubeSats. One of the CubeSats, RamSat, was developed by Robertsville Middle School in Oak Ridge, Tennessee, is on a mission to study forest regrowth in the Gatlinburg area following the 2016 wildfires and recent wildfires in California. This satellite will use small cameras to capture pictures of growing forests and radio communication to send those images to ground control in Robertsville Middle School's STEM classroom. RAMSAT's mission, which could last up to 18 months, began on Monday when it deployed from the space station into its own orbit. Also deployed this week was the Satellite for Orbital Aerodynamic Research, or SOAR. SOAR will study technologies to enable satellites to operate in very low Earth orbit. Such satellites could be smaller, lighter, and less expensive to launch. And that's Space to Ground for this week. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Subscribe for more space.